Well, howdy. My name is Father Greg Gerhardt, and I'm the new vocations director for the Diocese of Austin. And I'm really grateful to Karen to invite for inviting me onto this series, Burning Questions, where we answer questions from her confirmation class. And one of the questions that was given to me is, how do I stop sinning? I wish I could tell you, right? No, I'm joking. Uh, we always are going to be able uh, to grow in our own conversion. From the book of Proverbs, even the just man sins seven times a day. So we always need to ask this question, how can I be more faithful to the Lord? And the first thing that I want to say is don't give in to discouragement. Discouragement is actually the greatest obstacle in the spiritual life, not weakness. God's power can be made perfect in our weakness. Right? So the worst thing that we can do is fall into discouragement and give up because His power can't be made perfect in giving up. So get back up. Try again. His mercies are everlasting. His mercies endure forever. They are renewed every single morning, we read in Lamentations chapter 3. So go back to confession. He's ready to welcome you home with loving arms. Oh, when you go to confession, what do you say? In the act of contrition, you say you're going to do your best with His grace to sin no more and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. So that means avoiding the near occasions to sin, the things that I generally do that lead me to falling. That might include avoiding some friends with whom I always do sinful things, or it might mean avoiding having the internet by myself um, when I'm at home, having a filter on my phone so that I don't fall into those sins, right? Some other things that you can do is to have a good prayer life and a balanced life in general. Going to bed on time, eating well, those things, if you're happy, you're going to be less attracted to other kinds of sins that trying to promise happiness but can't deliver. The intimacy and the joy and the thrill of prayer so that you don't want to do other things. And then finally, uh, denying yourself small things so you grow in the muscles, the spiritual muscles of self-control so you can deny yourself the sinful things. There you go. There are some ways to try to grow in your faithfulness to the Lord. I hope that helps. Counter my prayers. God bless.